Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Monday Night Carnage. There you see a furious WWE World Heavyweight Champion Apollo Crews, especially after what went down last week. Oh, Apollo Crews wants to head to the ring alone. What does he have to say at the top of the broadcast? What a night it has been, but it's about that time. It's time for the rebellion versus the revolution. It's time for the main event of the broadcast, and it is for the WWE heavyweight championship of the world here's a fact for you to keep in mind last november at our first pay-per-view back at survivor series apollo cruz became the wwe world heavyweight champion same exact building that alistair black made his debut months prior there goes the oh wait wait a minute what jessica car just ejected both selena vega and mvp Glad to tap out and leave MSG as the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Is he gonna? What? Oh, come on! No, 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 no! Just one match. One. One. Please focus on this match. Oh, now he sees it. Now Brian going for the oh the full cycle knee. So I was the black. Yeah, what you just, what did you just do today? You just, you ignore Alistair's request. For the second time tonight, an interference has been botched. And now, uh oh, this ain't gonna be botched right here. Whoa, okay! He ain't going for the cover. The Tokyo-ish Apollo send that message to everyone in that locker room that you are the revolution. You are this business. Ball game. Shoot the half. Look at the leg. Thanks to Daniel Bryan, Apollo Crews retains the WWE World title and for the first time in a year. Alistair Black has been defeated. Apollo can go pop some bottles because on night on a night full of twists and turns and new champions crown, one thing has remained the same, and that is Apollo Crews maintained his position as the diamond of the Beatdown Corporation, and I might as well say it, he is the diamond of the entire WWE. Good night, everybody from MS. Oh, what the hell? It, it's Roman Reigns. What the hell is he doing here? He's suspended. He's not supposed to be here. Roman Reigns purposely violating a suspension is attacking the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh no, no, no. We saw what he did to Cedric. And now he's doing it to Apollo Crews. The guillotine. Roman Reigns is choking out the World Heavyweight Champion. Roman finally lets go of the champion. But the damage has been done. On the night when we made our return to MSG, a suspended Roman Reigns made it his mission to remind Apollo Crews and the world that he will not be dismissed. Suspension or not, he will get his point across, but you know there will be some consequences for this. You have to know. Arnish New Beginnings is in the history books, and it was quite the night to remember, to say the very least. And you know what? It's about that time. It's Monday. You know what that means. Monday Night Carnage is coming to you live from Greenville, South Carolina, as we begin our road to King of the Ring. What a night we have in store for you as we begin our illustrious King of the Ring tournament. But you already know how we ended it last week. We're about to start off with a furious WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Not coming out his usual arrogant self. Apollo Crews is pissed off. Just seven days ago, his night of celebration turned sour. And he's out here with rage in his heart on the night where we will start this year's King of the Ring tournament. You should stick around to check that out. Still a mixed reaction for the Diamond, which is understandable. One night of fighting one of the most sadistic men in the game today, it and Alistair Black doesn't magically erase months of taking shortcuts and taking the easy way out. But he's out here, and he's apparently got a lot. Look at him. Look at him. He has a lot to get off his chest. Yeah, that is normal. He's getting straight to the point. He wants Roman Reigns. Simple, straight to the point. If Roman Reigns wants his position, he has to... I could have sworn MVP was informed to remain in the back, but Apollo Crews is demanding Roman Reigns, even if that means reinstating the former WWE World Heavyweight Champion from his suspension. But MVP blatantly ignoring Apollo Crews' request. We saw what happened the last time he ignored someone's request, that being Bobby Lashley. It cost this man the Intercontinental Championship to keep lead. So MVP better tread lightly because this Apollo Crews I haven't seen ever. MVP is firm behind what he he set up. Roman Reigns will not be reinstated. Uh oh. What? Did, did I hear that right? Apollo Crews has given MVP an ultimatum. He has until the end of tonight's broadcast to produce Roman Reigns, or he's leaving the Beatdown Corporation. MVP has until the end of the night to get it done on a night where we officially kicked off this year's King of the Ring Tournament. What, what are we witnessing right now? But as I mentioned, we are on this night, we are kicking off this year's King of the Ring Tournament as this will be your main event of the evening. Kevin Owens blames Big E Langston for Sami Zayn's downfall last year at Judgment Day and he's finally getting his chance at revenge. And what better way than by knocking him out of the tournament in the first round? And speaking of revenge, this match has been building since last summer as Rusev battles Shinsuke Nakamura. Now I have the unfortunate news to report that the rebellious group suffered a quadricep injury during training, so he won't be 100%, something that Nakamura would have to keep in mind. Also, for the first time since she uncrowned the dominant EST of the WWE as the Women's World Champion at Carnage New Beginnings, we will hear from the new champion, the Queen of Space, Shayna Baszler. What a night we have in store for you, and we're starting off the in-ring action right with our first of three King of the Ring tournament matches this evening. 
He is the inaugural World Television Champion within this series, looking to achieve another form of Goldie by winning the King of the Ring Tournament. He is Tommaso Ciampa. Currently sitting at a 3-2 win-loss record. Would love to add another win in that column, but as you, if you are just now tuning in for the very first time, Champa earned his spot in the tournament when he bested a returning Mustafa Ali in a barn burner before driving his knees into the spine of Ali with the Project Champa to pick up the solidifying win to earn this spot in this first round match. What an opportunity for Champa, who hasn't had the perfect record over the past year, as I mentioned, but once the bell rings, he will have to make sure that you know that you are in a fight. That is what he's going to have to bring to the table when he faces his opponent, that being Seth Rollins. Because when it's all over, you will know that you were in a war. This crowd here in Greenville is welcoming him with open arms because they know what he is about to get into. But when we come back, our King of the Ring tournament will officially begin. Don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss it. Welcome back, Champa pacing back and forth because he is ready. He knows what is about to go down because he is battling not just anybody. He is battling the leader of the order who went from the black hand to the anti-Christ of professional wrestling and former WWE World Heavyweight Champion looking to reclaim his former glory. He is Seth Rock. Rollins earned his spot in the tournament when he defeated former NXT United Kingdom champion Johnny Gargano on an episode of Monday Night Carnage. Someone Tommaso Ciampa knows very well. DIY anybody? Nevertheless, Rollins hasn't had a good week. As last week at Carnage New Beginnings, his order was once again embarrassed by not only Blackheart Leo Rush, but Drew McIntyre and a returning Jeff Hardy. That's right, Jeff Hardy, which explains why Rollins is out here alone. He wants no one out here from the order. He wants to lead by example and power his way through this tournament. But I highly doubt Tommaso Ciampa will go down without swinging. For those who missed the bracketology, the rules of the Cannon Ring are quite simple. Single, elim single elimination tournament, the only way to advance is by pinfall, submission, count out, and disqualification. In the case of a draw, both men will be eliminated. You hear the, the difference in crowd approval for both men. They're 100% behind Champa, but they despise the leader of the order who is looking to burn it down. But this is the first round. The King of the Ring Tournament, Champa, Rollins, the esteemed referee Jessica Carr is your official, the first match. And this year's King of the Ring is underway. Both men not even rushing they're t taking their time, basking in the importance of this tournament. Elbow and call the tie up. Yep, this is how we start. Powers, powered over by Rollins. That is what he is doing right now. As Jessica, she's going to get in there and get a clean break. Will she get it? Yes, she does. A quick, clean break because neither men are perfect. They know what they got to do. Rollins is begging him to come along. Oh, another elbow and call the tie up. I thought he was going to get a strike situation, but Rollins quickly take it. The control targeting that neck, that surgically repaired neck, taking him down to the mat. But quick on his feet, Champa got him trapped in the legs, and now Rollins regaining back control of the arm, right of the head, excuse me, right there. As Champa switching it over and has control in the headlock, and stuff. But now Rollins smart on his feet, quick on his feet, breaking him, breaking that hold, leap over the over him, and as well ducking him out of the way, and Rollins with a drop kick. Drop kick, whether you love him or hate him, Rollins is always on point when that bell rings. Rollins and the champ into the corner. Oh, what a shot to the jaw! Another shot, which is something you got to do because you're going to bring that strike game to someone against that's the likes of Tommaso Champ because you cannot forget that unsanctioned match that he had against Sammy Callahan. We haven't seen Callahan since. Oh, what a knee by Champ! When the knee by Champa has Rollins rock on the outside now. Going for elbow. Oh, he got out of the way that one. And Rollins swing blade on the floor. Rollins with his patented sling blade. Jessica Carr starting that count out. Both men got out at the count of two. And now Rollins. Oh, what a DDT. Didn't even give Champa a chance to regain his composure after 
that sling blade on the floor, which is smart. Something you have to do, when, especially when you're a former world heavyweight champion. Oh, what a form in the corner by Rollins. What a night it has been. Apollo Crews has given MVP an ultimatum. Will he about to reinstate Roman Reigns? That is, that is a, a tough decision for MVP as Champa is, has Rollins in a tough position of his own. Oh, what a knee into Larian. Champa is it, it, with ease will put you in a tough position that is fighting for your life. Bouncing off the rope does Rollins. And a back body drop by the Sicilian psychopath. What a shot to that spine. He's going to systematically take you down. Also still to come tonight is two other King of the Ring tournament matches. Rusev versus Nakamura as Rollins has to shake the cowboys off their arm. Rusev versus Shinsuke Nakamura. That history is all out of this world because Rusev is the reason Shinsuke Nakamura is no longer the WWE champion. Oh, what a, what a sweep of the leg right there. Oh, and another drop kick to the jaw by Rollins. Also, Big E Langston. Kevin Owens a year in the making for that match to happen because Kevin Owens blames Big E Langston where he, it is his fault because Big E Langston is the reason Sami Zayn was retired. Oh, what a form by, by Champa. Now Champa, oh, he's going for something, but Rollins had that scouter and Rollins. Oh, what a knee. Champa is in trouble. Welcome back. We're in the midst of an incredible King of the Ring first round matchup between Seth Rollins and Tommaso Ciampa and now Rollins oh he went for a, 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 was it a phoenix splash but no water in the pool as Ciampa got out of the way now Ciampa's begging him to his feet oh he's going for something scooping him up but Rollins quick on his feet got out of that situation and Rollins sends him crashing to the outside Rollins is like he has this man scouted because Tommaso Ciampa in a way if you ask me they both have similar styles when they getting something done they both love playing mind games and they love they both love fighting and brawling so you know Seth Rollins oh meet another mind barricade to the skull you know he's about to do what he gotta do seems to have those Rollins looking to put this one away early right here two and three only a two Rollins can't believe it, but you got to stay on it. You cannot rest up. You have to stay on someone the likes of Tommaso Ciampa. He was not in that unsanctioned match just to play games. He was in that match to show that he is one of the toughest SOBs in the game today. What a power bomb to follow up by Rollins. And now, oh, he's not done. Standing moonsault by Seth Rollins. He didn't go for the cover. He was looking to torture Tommaso Ciampa. Now Ciampa... Sent it to the corner by Rollins. Oh, what a shot. Another shot to the jaw. And a, and a third has him crumbling from the impact. And now Rollins. Oh, Rollins, what is he going for? He's about to send him crashing the hard way. What, a, what an impact. He is thinking something. Scooping him up over his, his head into the Samoan drop. Samoan drop. And now Rollins heading to the top. Seth Rollins, what is he going for? Oh, he's going for an elbow, but no, nobody there. The impact of that elbow. Now Rollins, oh, is met by Champa. Oh, Champa, he's about to make Seth Rollins feel the hurt. Send him into the corner. Oh, what is he going for here? Send him, oh, shoulder first. That can tear a collarbone. That can separate a shoulder. Champa, oh, what another knee. Champa is all about hurt, bringing the hurt to Seth Rollins. Neither men have nothing to lose but everything to gain by winning this King of the Ring tournament. Tournament match. And getting advanced. Oh, what a shoulder tackle. Advancing to the next round of quarterfinals because they will face the winner of the Shinsuke Nakamura and Rusev match in the quarterfinals. Ron Rollins over his shoulders. Oh, what is he going for? In the air raid crash. Center of the ring, shoots the half. Champa punching his ticket to the next round. Only a two. Rollins barely got the shoulder up at the very, very last second. Champa arguing with the referee. You can't do that. You have to stay. Oh, what a boot! What a boot by Tommaso Champa. Oh, now 
Rollins. He is staggered. Oh, Rollins send him to the outside. And now, uh oh, he's about to bring him back in the hard way with a vertical. What a vertical. Slight delay with the impact, but an impact nonetheless. And now Rollins throwing a knee to the jaw. Oh, he's going for it again. He's, I feel like Rollins has been targeting that, that neck, that surgically repaired neck of Champa. And now, uh oh, what is he going for here? Rollins to the top with a frog splash. What a frog splash. Hook of the leg. Seth Rollins to punch his ticket to the next round. Only a two. Rollins. Oh, he got that look in his eye. What is he going for? Oh, no, he won't. Oh, he's going for it. Pedigree. That's it. That's it. Two. Champa just kicked out of the pedigree. The will to win for Champa. We're back, Champa. Oh, he has turned the tide in the first round matchup of this year's King of the Ring tournament against Seth Rollins and a knife edge chop. What a match we have witnessing unfold thus far. Now, Champa is unleashing a fear of offense on Seth Rollins. Neither men are, I can say, oh, what a drop kick. I can say they are not normal men because they are all about brutality. Oh, now, Champa with a knee to the side of the of the cranium to the temple. Hook of the leg, Champa. Looking to advance to the next round. Only a two, just barely, barely a kick out by Seth Rollins. Champa, he can't believe what he has to do to keep this man down, but oh, he's going, oh, he's about to go for it. Oh, the kick to the face by Rollins. He's possibly going for a fairy tale ending or whatever the case may be to put this man away but Seth Rollins had that scouted and, and reversed it and now Rollins has Champa oh he's sending him to the outside oh what is he going for he is stalking him and Seth Rollins of all with the top oh my god he got out of the way Champa sidestepped the top he had that scouting and another knee Seth Rollins just crashed and burned. And now, Tommaso Ciampa has regained full control because he just laid him out. And now, oh, he's going for the knee again. Seth Rollins, he can't take no more impact to the head. Oh, he got out of the way. He had that scouted. Playing possum, I'll never know. And now, oh, he's going for something, but Ciampa had that scouted. And another knee. Good God. The knees to the jaw. And now, oh, he has him back up. And now he has him into the arm bar. The arm bar looking to rip the arm from the socket of Seth Rollins. Rollins, he is nowhere near the ropes. He, he either have to tap or give up or find a way to get out of this situation. Oh, Seth Rollins, oh, he got him out of that one. Oh, he's going for the roll up. Nope, he, he switched it up. Shaking the cobwebs off of that arm bar. And now Rollins. And another sling blade. Another sling blade by Seth Rollins. And now oh, Rollins going for the pedigree possibly, but Champa had that scouted into the power bomb of his own. This match has been chaotic and all it is for the king of the ring. And a chance potentially for a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship at SummerSlam with Champa advanced not only a two. Only a two. No oh, one snapping of the neck. Champa is done playing games at this point, and this is about to prove my point. Project Champa. This is how he got to this point when he beat Mustafa Ali. When he do the same to Seth Rollins, the only a two. Good God, what a match! What a match! What a war! And this is just the first match of the tournament, the first match of the night. On a night where Apollo Crews has given MVP an ultimatum. Give me Roman Reigns or I'm done in the Beatdown Corporation. Oh, Champa. Rollins, I don't know if that was instinct or what, but he got out of that one. Now Champa. Oh, Rollins. Oh, he's, he's giving him dead weight. And now he's crashing him to the floor. Now Rollins in the knee. Both men are exchanging knees like he's going out of style. I love it. Sitting him back in the ring. 
Rollins, like a vulture, stalking Champa, begging him to get to his feet. Possibly looking for a springboard knee. No, Champa got out of the way of that one. And Rollins, no, oh, no, he plants him like a reverse Hamaster. Oh, now he's going for the knee. No, Champ Rollins got out of the way again. Rollins got out of the way, and a blackout. The quickness of a bloody Seth Rollins. I'm guessing a knee or something busted him up. But he's not about to be busted like Champa with a second blackout. Tommaso Champa put up quite the fight. It could have gone either way, but this goes to Seth Rollins. What a win. What a match. The new antichrist of professional wrestling leading by example to his order. That's how you go through a battle to advance an award. Not a fan of the recent actions of Seth Rollins, but he proves time and time again that he is one of the best to do it today. But now, let's take a look at the highlights as our medical staff check. We'll have to check on Rollins on that cut on his forehead. Let's roll them cl clips back. Rollins went for it, got out of the way of that one, but Champa connected with a face buster. I believe that is probably where Rollins got busted up. But Champa was going for another knee and he got out of the way that Rollins had that scouted and he connected with quickness with a blackout stump and then he did a second one with another blackout stump. This is a surprise. Seth Rollins is extending his hand to the defeated Champa? Come on. I know he won't fall for that. That's exactly. Champa is having none of that. I don't know where he, he was offering Champa, but he is not accepting that. He will lick his wound that being Champa, train and come back stronger than ever. As Rollins continues to celebrate, let's take a look at the updated King of the Ring bracket. The road is not clear just yet for Seth Rollins as he faces the winner of the Rusev Nakamura match in the quarterfinals. Congratulations once again to Seth Rollins. What a match that was. And now we look ahead to what's still to come tonight in our main event as Kevin Owens intends to finally hand Big E Langston his receipt for retiring his former tag team partner and friend, Sami Zayn, last year at Judgment Day. Langston and Owens finally clash one-on-one -on -one in our main event, hoping to advance in the King of the Ring Tournament. That's later tonight in our main event. But this next match in the King of the Ring tournament has just as much history, if not more, as Owens and Langston. As here comes the rebellious brute and former WWE champion, Rusev. Oh my God, stepping into a fire like the Terminator. Rusev is here to finish what he started last summer, quad injury or not. As I mentioned, as he's sitting at a 5-1 win-loss record, accompanied to the ring by his wife, Lana, the distant member, as I should say, because he hasn't been really involved with them as of late. He systematically destroyed Elias to earn his spot in the tournament. But the reason why this match is a big deal is because it was last summer when a then-masked Rusev assaulted Nakamura and injured his knee, forcing the King of Strong Style to vacate the WWE Championship. Injury or not, Rusev intends to leave this arena with the win, so much so he ignored our doctor's orders and heavily taped his, lightly, his slightly torn quad and kneecap. But if I'm honest, that might have done more harm than good because let's be real, he might as well painted a red circle and dot on that leg because it's a target now. And since defeating The Rock at WrestleMania, Rusev have been sending emphatic messages to this man because it is time to bring the energy of the rising sun to South Carolina as months of animosity comes to a head for the king of strong town and former WWE champion Shinsuke Nakamura. A man who has suffered very few losses within the past year and a half competing for the second time this season. The first time being he thwarted a brutal offense from Sheamus before laying him out with back-to-back -back knees to faces as you are seeing right there. But as I was mentioning, since defeating The Rock at WrestleMania, Rusev has been sending emphatic messages to Nakamura by injuring the knees of both Elias and Braun Strowman. A man, that being Shinsuke Nakamura, who has suffered very few losses, as I mentioned, the animosity is thick in this building. And you know what 
I wouldn't have it any other way. The winner of this match not only advances to the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring, but they face the man who earned his spot moments ago, that being Seth Rollins, who has to be watching this one very close. Let me know down in the chat who you have winning this one to advance. Oh my God. The explosives are all over the place. The excitement is in the air. We saw Nakamura lay out Rusev after he qualified for the King of the Ring tournament. Will he do the same when that bell rings? I'm excited for this match. What a night it has been on a night where Apollo Crews demands Roman Reigns being reinstated. Will it happen? Rusev, Nakamura. Senior referee Mike Kyoto is the official for this one. It's about that time as the bell rings and here we go. He the man. They hate the other taking their time. As I mentioned, that quad. Rusev saying he will crush Nakamura, but Nakamura is not intimidated to say the very least as he's saying, come on, to Rusev. He wants to try. Oh, he went for a Larry while swinging a miss. And now, oh my God, a King Shasa. Just like that. Nakamura just played out Rusev. And now, oh, he's stalking him in the corner. He's down to one knee, going for the king. Oh, the Mashka kick! Rusev just brushed off the king Shasa and laid out Nakamura with that Mashka kick, that thrust kick to the jaw. And now screaming at the top of his lungs, saying he is going to put this man down. Oh, and you know what he's going for? The pit! He's slapping the face of the rock bottom of the pit. Looking to put this one away early two and three, not only a two. Nakamura just kicked out of the pit and Rusev is pissed off. Throwing a shot to the head. Lana is loving that. And now Rusev, oh, he's possibly going for another maneuver right there. And another King Shasa! Lana, come on, Lana, get that. Nakamura is not going for the pin. He, is want, he wants to torture this man because, as I mentioned, this man is the reason he is no longer the WWE champion. He, have, he was forced to relinquish the title last summer due to that shadow tipia and knee. I'm making up words, but his leg was broke. Oh, he, oh he's not done. No, oh, and another knee to the face. The Kamagoye. If you were a fan of New Japan, Nakamura, you know this is shades of that. He is ruthless. He is brutal. I'm surprised Rusev hasn't been knocked out. He is crawling, trying to get to higher ground, but Nakamura is not playing. Around and another King Shasa. What is that? Three? He is sending a message. An emphatic message. Oh, he got him down to another knee and a fourth King Shasa. Look at the lead. Looking to put this one away. Now, come on, Mike. Count. Lana yet again getting involved. And Nakamura, like a smile just crept against his, uh, across his face. Nakamura. Oh, he's looking at Lana saying, you brought this on your man. And another. Come and go, yay. To the face. And now, uh oh. Nakamura has beaten him down. It's time to bow down to Nakamura with the King Shasa. He said, Game over. Yet again. Two. Nakamura has beaten Rusev. Nakamura has broken down the unbeatable. He's been waiting to do this for months as he shouted game over before another King Shasa for the first time since Survivor Series. Rusev has been defeated. Oh my God, we saw an, a chaotic. They both just went crazy. Nakamura took this man head off not once, not twice, but five times before putting the final nail with that King Shasa. Take a bow, Nakamura. You're one step closer to adding your name to the list of kings. But first, he must get past another focused individual who earned his spot earlier tonight in the quarterfinals, as it will be Seth Rollins versus that man right there, Shinsuke Nakamura. That match, I personally can't wait to see unfold 
Oh my God, Nakamura has beaten the unbeatable and Rusev. What a match. There you see the CEO of Beatdown Corporation, MVP. He was given an ultimatum earlier tonight by Apollo Crews to produce Roman Reigns or else. And after what happened to Bobby Lashley, MVP better do what he gotta do. Will MVP give in and push for Roman Reigns to be reinstated? We'll find out. A continuing development between Andrade and Rey Mysterio and now involving Christian? Interesting.
Biggie's New Day partner, Kofi Kingston. Wishing him luck, or should I say once New Day partner. Kofi questioning the legitimacy of the Mr. Career Killer moniker. Kofi Kingston, not really a fan of the Mr. Career Killer moniker that Big E has created for himself over the past year and a half. But one half of Big E's past and Kofi Kingston wishing him luck tonight as we're a mere moments away from our main event of the evening. As Kevin Owens is preparing to battle Big E Langston in quite the grudge match as Kevin Owens holds resentment towards Langston for forcing his former tag team partner Sami Zayn into retirement a year ago at Judgment Day. In just a heartbeat away is the prize fighter versus the self-proclaimed Mr. Career Killer in the final King of the Ring tournament of the night. Big E Langston versus Kevin Owens next. From the looks of it, the rebellion is on the verge of a self-implosion, all thanks to Daniel Bryan. And don't expect tears from me, but what a night it has been. And before we get to our main event of the evening, let's try to get you guys back for the next episodes within this series, shall we? The King of the Ring tournament will continue as Edge looks to continue his grizzled crusade after putting his former tag team partner Randy Orton out in the last man standing match when he battles Xavier Woods, who is determined to let the world know that he's not a layup. But what won't be a layup is this next one as the Rebellion's Daniel Bryan battles Matt Riddle for the first time ever in the WWE with the dissension within the Rebellion's. Bryan better not overlook the former UFC standout if he wants to advance in the tournament. And he has begun his training thanks to Rey Mysterio and next week is his first test as Andrade Cien Amos battles Drew McIntyre who finally put his issues with the order to bed last week. Neither man are strangers to the other. McIntyre versus Amos as the King of the Ring tournament continues. Speaking of Carnage New Beginnings, new Women's World Champion Shannon Baszler feels not everyone within her camp did well. So she's throwing Sean Tonya Deville to Wolves when for the first time since WrestleMania, the man, Becky Lynch, steps inside the ring. Deville, Lynch, next week. And then for the first time since winning the Intercontinental Championship, the limitless one, Keith Lee, will be on the show to address his huge title victory over Bobby Lashley. Next week's Carnage is looking stacked, to say the very least. And due to the nature of the upcoming edition of Shotgun Saturday Night, the next match within the Women's Global Championship Invitational will go down later this week with highlights coming to this channel as Camp Spades, Dakota Kai, battles Shotzi Blackheart with the winner facing Frankie Monet in the semifinals. And then it's time to finally settle up. It's time to settle a score, a months long score on Shotgun Saturday Night when the Street Profits defends the tag team titles in a best two out of three falls against the Usos. Fall one will now be a tornado tag. Fall two will be a submissions count anywhere tornado tag. And if necessary, fall three will be a ladder match, a callback to Carnage Gold Rush, a ladder match between these two for the tag titles if it gets down to that. 
Also on the show, we will hear from the nightmare Rhea Ripley explaining her return and actions against former women's world champion Bianca Belair in a sit-down interview. Chaotic shows coming up as the road to King of the Ring continues to heat up. That's next week, but strap yourselves in as tonight is not over to say the very least because this, in just a matter of seconds, is your main event of the broadcast and it's a first round matchup in the King of the Ring Tournament. The first round matches were chosen at random and when Kevin Owens found out his opponent was going to be Big E Langston, the man who retired Sami Zayn, he was chopping at the bit and ready to go. But remember how he got here, defeating Dolph Ziggler with a power bomb off the apron before doing him in with a stunner. Former United States Champion, Intercontinental Champion, NXT Champion, to say the very least, he has done pretty much quite the bit here in the WWE, but he has been uneasy all night and he finally gets the chance to not only avenge his former tag team partner, but thwart Langston's hopes of once again becoming World Heavyweight Champ. He is staring a hole at the ramp because he knows what is about to go down in just a heartbeat. Kevin Owens is chopping at the pit. He is ready to go to battle. He wants a spot in the next round. He's going to have to grind for it just like this man. He is a former World Heavyweight Champion out here killing the game as usual. He is Big E Langston. He's got the t-shirt to prove it that he's out here killing the game. But Langston earned this spot when he returned from his self-imposed sabbatical on the second edition of Shotgun Saturday Night where he defeated a very focused knockout artist in Cassius Ono who has since gone on a sabbatical of his own clamoring for a quote change. What that means nobody knows but nevertheless Kevin Owens is pacing back and forth on the outside. He is like a, a animal just foaming at the mouth because he knows what is about to go down. He has he is moments away from finally getting his hands on the man responsible for Sami Zayn not having a job anywhere. His retirement is not only in WWE, it's everywhere. He cannot wrestle ever again, and he has been wrestling for over a year. And in just a heartbeat, our final King of the Ring match of the night will be underway. Owens, Langston, winner advances, loser is out. Mike Kyoto, do your thing. That bell has rung, and here we go. I said on the Bracketology, I will be surprised if there is a wrist lock. Whatever the case may be, as Owens got in the face, and that proves my point right there. There is no wrist lock. There is no chain wrestling. It is strictly a fight between these two men. Owens took it personally that Sami Zayn was forced into retirement, and what better way at a chance at revenge if you knock off Langston in his quest to become the next king and earn a title opportunity at the World Heavyweight Championship at SummerSlam. Oh, what a shot. Both men. They have not left their feet. They are all about exchanging clobbering blows. Bouncing them off the rope. Oh, he chases. Oh, what a boot. Forcing them down. And now it's looking to stomp the life, the air from the lungs of Langston. Langston is left feeling that big time. Oh, now Langston in serious trouble by Owens. Owens. Oh, he's going for No, sit your ass down. Biggie is on a whole nother level right now. Oh, Lance is in control with the T-Bone suit placed by Biggie as this King of the Ring first round match continues on Monday Night Carnage. As Lance, oh, as firm control after he took control before the commercial break. And now Langston has Kevin Owens right where he wants him. He is looking to punch his ticket into the quarterfinals oh he like i said earlier tonight that could separate or tear a collarbone oh what a shot to the ribs and now langston unleashing like i said there is no wrist lock there is no chain wrestling this is all but a fight oh and he oh and he saw his neck snap a little bit now a little homage to his days in the new day as he snaps right back into the serious mode now langston as Kevin Owens in the corner, he has him in firm control. Uh-oh. 
Oh, he's about to show off his power. What a belly to belly overthrow suplex as Kevin Owens is just scrambling because he knows what he's in. Oh, he's about to send tidal waves down the spine. What a big splash. What a splash by Langston. Look at the lead, looking to punch his ticket to the quarterfinal. And three, only a two. The winner of this match will face Cesaro and Ricochet in the quarterfinals. Whoever wins that match between Cesaro and Ricochet will face the winner of this match. That'll be a match. Whoever wins in this match, that'll be a match. Nevertheless, this entire tournament is pretty much a dream match. And now, oh, another belly to belly overthrow suplex by Langston. Langston is synonymous with the King of the Ring event because he won the World Heavyweight Championship at that event last year in San Juan, Puerto Rico when he defeated the Demon Finn Balor. Oh, no, he's about to spear the demons out of Kevin Owens on the water in the pool, crashing and burning. That's exactly how he lost the world title at Survivor Series to Apollo Crews. And Kevin Owens had this man very well scouted. Now Kevin Owens has a dazed and confused. Y'all better get out of the way in the crowd. And a big boot to the jaw. Kevin Owens remains in control during this first round match of the King of the Ring tournament. And now, oh, Kevin Owens continuing where he left. Oh, and a pop-up power bomb. Biggie missed with that spear. And now the power bomb, too. Looking to punch Kevin Owens' ticket to the quarterfinals. And that'll be a negative. What a night it has been as MVP. He still has a decision to make with regards to Roman Reigns. And what a frog splash by Kevin Owens. Hook of the legs. Two and three. Only a two. Need a man is willing to stay down. They are begging, clamoring for a fight, and they got it. Oh, Kevin Owens possibly going for something, but Big E. Shifted the body weight, now sending Kevin Owens crashing and burning to the floor. Big E is stalking Kevin Owens like a shark that smells blood. Oh, and he tackles him to the floor. The former football standout gaining firm control, and now, uh oh. Snake guys off the barricade. Referee at the count of five. As I mentioned, if they're in, in the case that there's a draw, the winner of the Cesaro Ricochet match will advance automatically to the semifinals. And now Big E. Oh, what a shot. Oh, Big E's in trouble with that super kick. We have reached the apex of this hard hitting King of the Ring first round match. Oh, my God. On here on Carnage. Knee to the back of the neck. Kevin Owens looking to take advantage as he regained control for the commercial break. And a three, no, a two. My God. The kickouts after kickouts after kickouts. Neither men are not quitting. They are trying their very best to stay in this fight. Now Kevin Owens is losing his composure. He is going to break this man down if he has to. Because he blames this man for what he did to Sami Zayn. And he's finally got his opportunity. Tuna, what a lariat. He finally got his opportunity to avenge his former best friend and former tag team partner. He told you what would happen, and that is exactly what is about to happen. Oh, Kevin Owens, he's looking at the apron. He's about to send his man through a world of pain. But it looks like the referee's trying to hold him back, and he's going to oblige a little bit. I guess he's going to take the count out victory. I'm, just, I'm kind of hoping he wouldn't, but a win's a win, I guess you could say, with Kevin Owens as Big E is trying his very best to recover on the outside of the referee at the count of four. Oh, what the hell? Who, who the hell? What just happened? The referee didn't see Kevin Owens get booted in his face. The referee at the count of six, but Kevin Owens is out and Big E's back. He's back up. He's back in his match. What the? What just happened? Oh, Big E just taking advantage. Big E, big ending. No, oh, no, not this way. He said I took, what? What just happened? Big E 
with the big ending, and Big E has punched this ticket to the quarterfinals, but who was that? Some are cheering, some are confused with how, what went down, but the results are there. Kevin Owens just screwed. Kevin Owens had Big E to rights a few times during this match. Pop up, power bump, Big E found a way to kick out of that. Had a frog splash, kicked out of that. This knee to the back of the neck should have put most people down, but right here, who was that? Boot to the face, knocked out Kevin Owens. And Big E took advantage, but the referee was distracted, and he laid him out with the big ending. And one, two, three, that was it. But like it or not, the results stand. That man right there cost Kevin Owens his chance to go all the way in the King of the Ring tournament. And the fans here are not happy. But congratulations are in order for that man in the ring as he has a chance to sit back and wait on the winner of the match between Ricochet and Imperium's newest member, Cesaro. What a night it has been for tonight's King of the Ring tournament thus far. And we are, we just getting started, but what just happened? Big E look, looking a little confused himself. What the? Sami Zayn? Wait, 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 wait. Big E... Did Big E Langston just waived the stipulation for Sami Zayn's retirement by getting him to screw over his former best friend? Big E was in on this all. Oh my God. Why? What, what just happened? Sami Zayn has been allowed to be unretired by Big E Langston, but he just screwed his former best friend. God, what did we just see? But the time has finally come. It's time for MVP to make a decision. Will he vouch to reinstate Roman Reigns or lose Apollo Crews as a client within the BDC? Find out next. Welcome back. The CEO of the Beatdown Corporation is in the ring, ready to hopefully make a decision regarding Roman Reigns. He's standing by his decision. He, Roman Reigns will remain suspended if he has anything to say about it. MVP is standing behind his decision. He refuses to vouch for Roman Reigns' reinstatement at the request of this man, the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Apollo Crews, who he gave him the ultimatum. But will he act on said ultimatum? Will he actually leave? the Beatdown Corporation unless he is provided Roman Reigns, especially after what went down last week at Carnage New Beginnings. The intensity in the eyes of that man is thick. What decision? Will he do it? Did he just drop the title? What? It appears... It appears that Apollo Crews... Apollo Crews just quit the Beatdown Corporation. Did Apollo Crews just quit the corporation. But, but what's the status of the WWE World Heavyweight Championship? He just left it at the feet of MVP. What? If you made it to this point in the video, I would like to shout out my Patreon backers. Without you guys, I would not be where I am today. Thank you. I ain't giving no chance like this.